Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Dave from Wet Fly Swing. Uh, today I'm going to dig into a cool product from Proof Fly Fishing. And uh, Proof has this really cool uh, rod building kit uh, where they show you basically how to do it all and provide all the tools and uh, everything you need. So I'm going to go through that today. This is kind of a, a little unboxing here to show you what you get when you uh, order your stuff. So the first thing I have is basically the kit and this is the kit to um, all the tools you need to actually build the rod so this is i'm going to quickly go through this and then i'll jump into uh, talk a little bit about the rod um, before i get into it just want to note down below in the show notes there will be some information um, on uh, an upcoming uh, olympic peninsula steelhead trip and that's what i'm actually building this rod for finally getting some time to put this together. So if you're interested in uh, heading out for Steelhead with me and some other folks on a guided trip, um, you can click that link and um, add your email there. But you can uh, see all that as we get into it. So let me just start off with kind of some of the stuff. This is what you get. And the first thing, um, the first thing you get here, I'll, I'll kind of move down to this, this angle is this little kit. This is basically just, this is essentially just the kit you're going to wrap your rod. Uh, wrap your rod with so you can see uh, this is a rod wrapping jig essentially um, you know these go down and you, it's a kind of a, a little kit you just kind of basically put together and build yourself so here's uh here's that so that's the rod wrapping jig this is pretty simple there's um i'll put a link to a video as well uh, anything i don't show you in this series i'll have links to some of the stuff that matt has done over there but i'm hoping to for most of it to actually have um, to actually have the information and in the uh, right here on this video series because this is going to be kind of the unboxing but I want to get into the next one just going through the whole process of actually building the rod so you can stick with the uh, the journey here and uh, and we'll we'll get her taken care of so that's the first thing is the rod wrapping jig you also get um, let's see here well let's just go into this this little guy and we'll, we'll head down this angle again so we get this little bag with a few tools and one of the things um, is the thread you're going to need and this, these are the colors that uh, I selected for this little guy so I'm going to have this is my main thread this is my kind of my my tag end so we got that let's just dump this stuff out um, you also have these uh, oh, these uh, syringes here which are for uh, mixing when you're mixing the epoxy and stuff like that um, there's a better shot of it right there. And those are just in the plastic bags. You can pop those out. So you have those uh, syringes. And another really key part of this is, is the razor blades. And these are, these are double-sided razor blades, and they're flexible. So that's important when you're doing this to have the flexible blades. Um, this is the mixing tool. And this comes with this is very important as well. It kind of helps mixing things and avoiding um, bubbles and things like that. And finally is this um, this tool that helps you to keep your your wrapping on your thread um, tight. You know, basically it's got a point on it and you can kind of as you go, you can use it to push. And I think in the past, you know, I guess my story here, I've built some rods. It's been all many, many years, but back in the old shop. Uh, my dad's old shop, there was definitely a few rods they built. And so, I, you know, I won't say uh, I built a ton of them, but enough to get some rods out there. But I'm hoping that uh, this will be a good example to show you, you know, you can you can build your own rod here and, and have fun with it. So um, so that's so that's that tool. Um, and then we get into the, the really the other stuff here is is the epoxy that you get. And this is uh, just your standard epoxy when you're gluing the you're gluing the handle down and the other things there you're gonna need the epoxy it also comes with some of these tubs which are pretty standard just mixing tubs and things like that um, and then finally and this first gear is just is, is tape it comes with two types of tape the masking tape which is for basically um, you know doing the real seat and some of the other things the other part is this this tape which is used when you're wrapping your guides on um, so, so those are the two things. I'll put a link in the show notes of that little kit that you can get there. Um, and, and that kit basically breaks out, um, you know, it kind of has everything you need to get started, including a nice little, nice little card from Matt, Matt himself. Um, but the other part is actually choosing what um, rod you're going to build. So I'm building a steelhead rod, a winter steelhead spay rod. And this is, I believe it's an eight weight 
And Matt actually sent this rod right here. You can see that came in a came in a nice case. So so we have that rod, the proof fly fishing, and this will be the rod I'm going to be using. And along with that, along with that rod is actually picking, you know, um, the real seat and stuff like that. So we'll drop down here again and, and show you. Um, so here's going to be, here's essentially the, you know, this is going to be the handle of the rod. So you can see it's going to be basically in that, that angle. This is so it, you know, feels pretty good. Oh, oh. <laughs> There you go. So we have that, and we also have the next part. I guess down below that is is the real seat. And I'll pop this out of here. And Matt has, I know, at his site, he's got a ton of different, um, a ton of different real seats. So we'll just stay stay on this here. And this is just your standard um, wooden real seat here. So we have that, and also. We've got the other part of it is just the kind of the hardware. We're just going to do a standard one for this this deal. So we got the hardware, and then obviously the other really important piece of this is is the guides. This is the guide setup, and it's got um, some snake some snake guides in here. Um, it's got the snake guides, and it's got these guides. Which are the stripping guides, and that's what's going to go on there. So I'm going to be putting these things together on there, along with the snake guides, which I'll pop off here in a second. There you go. There's our snake guides. So we have a few of those, and it's all broken up really nicely. Um, everything is in a nice little compartment and um, that's pretty much it right now um, let's see here this goes yeah we got <laughs> I guess a few things on here that I want to make sure to keep keep together so I don't lose it but that's essentially it um, we've got everything you need here including the rod the guides the the handle the real seat all the gear it seems like it's not very much I know when I first uh, back in the day was building the rods uh, we had kind of a rod wrapping uh, set up and some other things but Matt I know likes to keep it simple and even to the you know the rod tensioner I think we're gonna use a book for that to keep to keep the tension on the the line that we're wrapping so so that's pretty much all I have for now um, until the next one which we'll get out and we'll cover basically just get into the first steps um, Matt does have a series uh, gink and gasoline put out on all this so if you wanted to watch Matt go through it as well, you can check him. But this is just my little my little journey. I wanted to get um, the word out there for Matt's stuff, and you know, I know there's not a lot of places you can get everything uh, in one shot as far as building a rod. So we're gonna do it, and then we'll we'll eventually, hopefully, we'll finish this thing up with a nice steelhead on the end. That would be that'd be the ultimate if I can get a video on the river, on the op, on the trip with a steelhead with this rod. I think Matt would be excited. That'd be a fun way to end up this series. So this is going to be the rod rod building series. And uh, uh, please subscribe, uh, Wet Fly Swing. Just click the link below in the bottom right corner. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Reach out to me, Dave, at wetflyswing.com. Uh, again, if you want to check out the hosted trip, uh, not only do we have the uh, OP coming up, but for steelhead, we have Alaska and some other trips I'm trying to build. So if you're interested in any of that, you can go to wetflyswing.com slash uh, destination and you can check out all the different uh, areas where we're heading out fishing and i'm looking for people that want to go out and fish with some of the best guides in the world and come along with me i'm kind of like the comic relief i guess so um so thanks again and we'll look forward to uh, seeing you on the next video